Let's practice inserting some clip art, smart art, and shapes in Excel 2013. Begin by going to Insert, and if you choose Online Pictures, we're talking about some nice online clip art. You can search using Bing or even Office.com. If I were to search for a cat, and uh, we double click the image, and we now have some nice cat pictures. Now, there's other ways to get pictures as well. You might want to uh, use some other search engines such as Google to find some pictures and that is uh, one way of getting some nice graphics. Let's uh, toy around with uh, the idea of a smart art. So let's go to insert and let's choose uh, a uh, smart art graphic which is this option here. Click here and you can see there's uh, uh, many different nice uh, diagrams which can add, really add to a professional type, uh, professional look. So if I were to just choose this kind of uh, vertical chevron list for example, but you can see there's many others that might suit your needs. You might have to scroll through all this. You uh, click on this and click on OK. And uh, what we can write here as an example is click here and you can type in uh, fear and then Fear leads to anger, anger leads to hate, and you can even press uh, uh, you can even click on the left here, which is pretty friendly for typing in the contents here. If I press shift tab, it actually pulls the indentation back one level. Uh, I'll write suffering. Can you guess who we're talking about here? I'm going to say uh, don't be afraid. So in this little sub tab, I'm going to say, don't be afraid, be brave. And in the anger sub tab, I'll write, don't be mad, we'll say, be glad. And I'll say, love, um, be not uh, hateful, love instead. And you can see what's happening here. You can even press enter and you can press tab and then uh, be happy, don't suffer. You can see that we're building up the list very conven conveniently using, using the enter key, using tab and shift tab. So hopefully you can apply this knowledge to creating other smart art graphics as well. So we click off of the actual smart art graphic and if you hover over it you can see that you can click on an edge and you can press control Z if you accidentally drag out the wrong part but when you click off of it and you click on the side edge here uh, you're moving one thing which is what we don't, do not want to do but if you actually click on the right part of the edge here between the two things I'm just moving the entire thing and that's how we can move things around. Let's finish off by talking about the actual shapes. So I'm going to click on the little uh, corner here, press delete to delete it all. And finally, let's go to insert and we'll just say shapes. So I'm going to insert a rounded rectangle here. It looks very nice. And I'm going to drag out a rounded rectangle. And what I like about shapes is that you can type right into them. I'm going to say um, shapes. And let's highlight the text by double clicking it. Let's increase this, the font size to, we'll say, 50 and press enter. And if you double click, if you highlight the text by double clicking it, you can center it as well. Now recall in the home tab, you can also center vertically, which is the middle align button here. So this is very nice. Now if you uh, actually go to the format tab, remember that you can actually choose some nice templates here. If I were to choose this very funky uh, text here, you can change the text as well. You can change the shape fill. So if I were to hit this little drop down box, there's other uh, nice uh, shadow templates here. I'll just choose this one here, which looks pretty good. In fact, you can even customize your own. You can even use your own gradients and textures and pictures and you can go pretty funky, but I'm just going to stick with uh, the default templates that I'm provided with and you can immediately have uh, beautiful shapes. You can click on the edge of it to move it around. You can resize it by dragging a corner.
you can rotate it as well press Control z and in fact when we're using the rounded rectangle tool we can even click on this uh, yellow square which affects the the uh, curvature or the radius uh, of this uh, imaginary circle here in this corner so hopefully you found this uh, tutorial insightful and uh, thanks for subscribing and liking